All right, everyone. Hello. Happy New Year's, first of all. I hope your celebrations were nice and you picked resolutions that weren't too crazy. And if you did, I hope you can fulfill them. And if you can't, at least have a good laugh about them. Because isn't that what it's all about, really? Um, secondly, I want to do something called Channer Talk, which is, big surprise, talking about channers. There's not really much to talk about right now because we haven't gotten anything new recently, but when 3.0 comes around, I'll definitely be looking at skills, stigmas, armor, and weapons. Like I said before, I'm really looking forward to it, so that should be a lot of fun when it comes out. In the meantime, I want to talk about mantras, because sometimes I still see people running weird mantras, and I just like to point out a few things. Anyway, start off the list, Revival Mantra. This is an 84 heal every 6 or so seconds, and it's overshadowed by the fact that you're going to have a healer in team. Because, well, we're healers, and then if you have a cleric, it's their job to worry about the HP. So, this mantra shouldn't even be used. In fact, there's a much better choice, which is the mana mantra, because everybody's burning mana, and can't go wrong with the mana mantra, really. And I'm getting tail spam, kind of. And a guy transformed. Alright, uh, next are the two defensive mantras. We have shield and protection, but not in the order I click them. Uh, protection is nice when you want to maximize elemental defense, and likewise shield is nice when you want to maximize block and parry. Um, other than that though, these are situational, so you won't always find yourself using those. Like, teams for ex um, typically like the more offensive mantras because this game is fast-paced PvP, like really fast, so anything that helps people kill better is often favored against surviving stuff. They're nice though, you can find yourself using them once in a while, I do, just for kicks, but it's stuff you won't find yourself running as much. More than revival, but not all the time. Next is Hit Mantra. This one's my personal favorite because, look at that, 50 crit strike, crit spell, strike resist, and spell resist. It just makes everyone that much stronger. I know that if you use the full DPS line, you have to sacrifice this, but you should really consider using this stigma because it makes everyone that much stronger and yeah also it has a green rainbow-ish looking thing with a musical note so you know that's telling you to use it next are the mantras you'll find yourself using most of the time let's see we've got the run speed magic boost sometimes um mana attack and crit um these ones are the ones they're always found running on most people. An example is like Dredge. When I get in, I like to run the, not the run speed, the hit mantra, mana, and attack. Because for PvE, you don't really need run speed, and mana is burned by everyone, like I said, so it helps power or burn through the PvE faster. And then when the PvP comes, switch to like run speed, maybe crit, depending on what. But. Being dynamic is good. Sometimes you have the right choices for mantras for pretty much everything you're going to be doing, but other times you might find switching one or two here and there could be more beneficial to the team. Also, a quick note, if you're switching, make sure you have three mantras running at all times because <laughs> I've done this before where I'll switch and I forget to click it. I like hover my mouse and click it, but it doesn't go off. So I'm only running two mantras. Makes you look like a noob when someone points it out. So I'm a noob, I'm okay with that, but try not to find yourself in that situation. Alright, next is Enhancement Mantra. This is a 500 stun resist, which I'd say roughly translates into 50%. And um, it doesn't work against knockback, so Rangers and Sins and Templars can still knock you back, but... Um, I also want to say that having a nice amount of magic resist is a good counter to stun, so you don't necessarily need to waste a stigma slot on this. It's like icing on the cake, really. You don't really need it, but if you want to be extra secure in your defense, then go ahead and use it. I wouldn't recommend it, though. There's other things you could put in stigma slots that would be useful. And um, I guess it's like an orange crit mantra. Not much uh, originality there. <laughs> Although, these are all pretty nice looking, I have to say, regardless. Alright, next is Invincibility Mantra. If you have this mantra, you know why you have it. You know that you're going to use it, and you don't need me to tell me why you're going to use it, because it's just that awesome. And it looks nice, too. I think that looks like a sun, personally. 
All right. Oh, these aren't managers, but quick note. Promise of Earth and Promise of Wind. The attack speed debuff on Promise of Earth is better than Howl's Strike, but Howl's Strike overrides it, so you're better off not using this because you won't see it on the targets that often, and there's nothing wrong with more damage. I see some channers using this now and then. It's nice, but it won't be on the target that often because of Hallowed Strike, and we need to use Hallowed Strike since we don't have that many attack speed chains. In fact, <laughs> attack speed, just attack chains in general. That's one of two, so... Anyway, that's it for Mantras. I might come back and talk about Stigmas later. Not sure. And um, if you're a new channel, then I hope this is helpful. And if you're not, I hope it's at least refreshing, like the uh, basic tips stuff that I talked about. I don't know, I guess it's like time to go ahead and make videos about things that I think are helpful. Sure, why not? Also, I'm not sure if it's mantras or mantras. It's like tomatoes or tomatoes, potatoes or potatoes. Although I don't think anybody says potatoes. <laughs> anyway, um, until next time, um, once again, Happy New Year, and I will be back with more stuff later.